Well, today's adventure starts at the University of Minnesota campus. This is a very beautiful area to walk around. You can hear the birds chirping. The sun is trying to shine through, but it's not being very successful today. I'll just be quiet for a second. You can hear all the birds. They are all over the place. Very calm and serene. This would be a lovely place to see during the springtime and that is just around the corner. Well, no wonder I'm hearing so many birds. There's a bird right there. There's a nest over there. There's a nest up there. And they are flying around everywhere. And then there's this little robin up here just chilling out. Hi there, little fella. Well, hello there, and welcome to another beautiful day for an adventure here on Tommy Travels, the second. And behind me, this building right here, is the Goldstein Museum of Design. Have I ever heard of this place? No. Do I have any clue what's in here? I do not. <laughs> so we are going to learn about it together. And if you guys are brand new to this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on a thing. And come on with me, let's go see what there is to see. Ah, uh, it was not in there. We had to come down a little bit over here. We found it, finally. The Goldstein Museum of Design. It looks like it's gonna be about fashion and design. Hmm, good name for the place then. Here's a look down the hall that we're in and I just love the design of this building. They've got this skylight where you can look up and see well, the clouds today, <laughs> but normally sun is shining through. And who needs a gallery to be open when they've got cool paintings hanging on the wall like this? I like the, the way this is done in the 3D format, kind of, where they have globs of paint in certain areas where you can see um, it coming off the painting. It's one thing I like about these kind of paintings. Very interesting looking whatever that is. I guess that's modern art is what they call it. I love this little conference table. It just screams. I've been sitting here since the 70s. Look at these chairs. That was high design and fashion in the 70s. <laughs> to have the different color chairs and that fabric. It's almost like the Brady Bunch would have. So this is Ruth Crane and she collects ceramics. Her apartment is filled with them and she knows things about all of the artists who created them as well and it started with just a blue pitcher and then she moved to Northfield Minnesota and de developed a friendship with Ron Lindy a collector at Red Wing Pottery and then she started um, going to an art pottery association and members would bring items to sell her those are the types of things that are in this museum and what's really cool is they have that blue pitcher sitting right here this is going to be quite fascinating this one is called small pot from 1994 and while Ruth was on a layover in Iceland she bought this pot and it was her first non-functional pot and the start of a new focus of her collection very pretty little design that they have there there's all sorts of cool artifacts in each case, including my favorite one from here. It's called Dutch Blue Pitcher. It's from approximately 1931. And founded in 1861 by German immigrant John Paul Red Wing Pottery in Red Wing, Minnesota, is best known for its distinctive crocs, each stamped with a Red Wing. I don't see a Red Wing on here, but <laughs> there must be <laughs> somewhere. And as we move over to this case, we find Boat from 2018. And another favorite of mine is this one called Oil Can Vase from 2017. It's by Linda Christensen and it is stoneware. And she is one of the seven studio hosts of the St. Croix Valley 
pottery tour. And her daily goal is to make a better cup every day. <laughs> Good goal to have. And this case looks like they've got some pieces that are made out of wood, but they are not. They are actually stoneware. This piece is stoneware. This piece is actually made out of porcelain, the pitcher. And then this one is called Three Towers. It also looks like it's made out of wood, but it is also stoneware, and there's a top view of it. And I like this one a lot as well. In this case, they have a bowl from 2011. <laughs> I was surprised that it was so recent, because with that green color, it looks like it might be straight from the 70s. But it is not. It is made of porcelain, and it's from 2011. And here's a wall of pieces that are not behind a glass case. And one that I really like is this guy right here. <laughs> Remember art class when you were in grade school and they would pass out the paints and they would come in those tubes that kind of look like this and you would squirt them out and then paint it on the paper? <laughs> it's a fun little memory and that's what this piece reminds me of. Oh my gosh, look at this one. I may have found a new favorite. It's called Multicolored Teapot. It's by Mike Helke. And each pot contains the story of its making for the user or viewer to enjoy and perhaps decode. And Mike Helke is from Wisconsin and he suggests that the pot is a source of energy transfer from the potter to the user. <laughs> So let me just get some energy from this guy. I could use it today. Wow, look at these fancy ones. Including this one right here. It's called Cup from 2017 by Ben Sergen. If I got this thing, I don't think I would ever put anything in it. It would go someplace special for people to see, but not touch. I like this one right here as well. I don't see any handle on it, so it doesn't look very easy to hold for a cup. But it's pretty cool because it looks like it's just growing right out of a bed of seashells in the ocean or something. That is quite imaginative. This one is called Teapot with Crown from 2017 by Ryan Myers, and it's made out of stoneware. And from this angle, it looks like just a regular old teapot with a crown on top. But, from the front, it is anything but ordinary. <laughs> I just love this little guy. And now, we have finally crowned my very favorite piece in this whole collection. That is it, right there. Well, you guys, this has been another successful adventure here today on Tommy Travels the Second. And we have been looking at a lot of different types of pottery and learning about different artists and it's been a real blast here today, and if you liked what you saw, there's even more content on my main Tommy Travel channel. Check out the link in the description below for that. If you liked this adventure, go ahead and hit like on my YouTube channel. While you're at it, go ahead and hit subscribe and the little bell notification next to it so you can be the first to know when a new adventure comes out. Thank you guys so much for the support that you've given me so far, and until next time, I hope to catch you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.